Hello everyone, in this video we'll be solving the question sliding window maximum. Now this is one of the most popular questions that are asked in interviews. So I suggest you study this one pretty carefully. Now the question, um, what this asks of us is that say we have this array given to us. We have to find out, we have to find out in a particular window, say if we have a window of size 4, we have to find out the maximum element in each window. Window would be say this of four elements. We have to find out the maximum in this window, which is eight. Then we slide the window by one position. And then we have to find out the maximum element in this particular window, which is nine. And so on and so forth. It's nine again. And this is how we basically, um, this is what is expected of us. Now to actually solve this problem, say for this example we have right here, we take a concept that we have studied in another video known as next greater element on the right or to the right. What we do is that we um, calculate next greater element to the right for all these elements. Let's call it N G E. I've already made the structure for you to save on time. What I'm going to do is that for each element, I'm going to store the element, the index of an element on the right hand side, um, that is greater than my current element. The first such element that we encounter, if not, I'll just store the index of the, uh, array of array dot length, which is actually out of bounds. And we'll see why we're doing that in a bit. So say we have, uh, our element five, the first element on the right that we find, which is greater than five is eight. So its index is actually one. Let's store the indexes here and the element itself, just for reference, the element is eight. We won't be storing the element in the actual program, but for, so that you can see it more clearly. Now, um, for eight, the next greatest element is actually found at index number four, which is nine For three, it's six which is at index three for six, it's index four element is nine for nine. There is a greater element found on the right, which is uh, 12, which is found at index six. Then for six, we have 12 again. 12 happens to be the largest in this array. So for 12, we enter the value eight. Since there is no one uh, that is larger than it, let's just put infinity here for now. Then we have um, the value eight. There is, well, eight is the largest element as compared to all the elements on its right, which there are none. So we write eight here again and the value infinity. So now that we have the next greater element to the right for each element, what we do is that say, say we're in this window of size four, the process that we follow is that for, for each element, say starting from here, we check what is the next greater element. So for five, for five, the next greater element is found at index one, which is eight. We have, we are at index one right now. Then we check at index one, what is the next greatest element that it has? It has a uh, next greatest element at index four which is nine, but, but we had this window and this index four is actually out of this window. So we won't consider it. So what we're supposed to do again is that we check the next greatest element on the right and we continuously do that till we find the last value in this window, uh, for which we have the next greater, for which we have a valid next greatest element. I repeat again, since I'm sure that wasn't very clear of me. So we calculate this value repeatedly. We find out the next greatest element. Then we check the next greatest element. And if this next greatest element is in this window, we update our value of the current, let's call it current. We update the value of that index. Or should I say greatest index would be better. Let's call it greatest index. So for five, this greatest index is uh, at index one. The greatest element on the right is found at index one. 
for in for eight the next greater element to the right is found on index four which is out of this window so the conclusion from that is that eight has to be the largest element in this window because the largest uh, the largest element for eight on the right is actually out of this window so we print our output as eight for this window then we shift the window We shift the window by one position. Now for this window, we uh, check we check the next greatest element on the right for this particular uh, value, which is eight. Next greatest element on the right, greater element on the right is nine, which is found at index four, which is in this window. So greater element on the right will be updated to index four. It is in the window. We check for this value now. For this value, we find out that the next greatest element that it has is at index six, but the six is out of this window. So we just stick to four and four happens to be the largest uh, index, largest value in this window. So we print it. Sorry for the weird cut. Now, for this window, we find out that the value is 9. So we shift our window. We shift our window by 1. We check. Um, we, our current uh, greatest index value is actually at 9. We already had that. So we check. Again, we find out that the greatest in, uh, next greatest element of the right is found at index 6. But that's out of this window. So we print 9 again because 9 happens to be the largest value. We keep on checking this uh, by shifting windows one at a time. And we find out now we can uh, check this again. Find out that the greater element on the right is at index 12 as index 6, which is 12, the element itself. And for this element, there is no greater element on the right. So for this window, the value would be 12. And that will be our answer for sliding with no maximum. Now, there will be a few cases that we'll be handling. So let's just uh, try to code this first. To get my next greatest element on the right, I won't be explaining how I do that because that has been explained very thoroughly in another video. So I suggest you watch that before uh, we solve this problem. Now, coming to it, I have an array for next greater element on the right. And let me uh, rename the variables here for my convenience. To calculate next data element on the right, we have a stack with us. Now, uh, in the stack, we push the very last index, which is n minus one. And we start our loop from i is equal to add dot length, which is n actually, let's just write n minus two. n is greater than or equal to zero. Sorry, i is greater than or equal to zero. i will decrement by one. And in every iteration, again, I'm not explaining this thoroughly. I'm just writing down the code for it. Now, I check while the size of the stack is greater than zero. That is the stack is not empty. And the value that I found at my, um, at this, at the peak of my stack, at the top of my stack if this value happens to be less than or equal to the current value I'm at. That means that my current value is greater. So I will simply remove this value to check for the next value and see whether it fits my next greater element to the right criteria or not. If the stack happens to be empty, that is if its size is equal to zero, that means our current element is actually the greatest. So for that we need to create, um, so we have an array, um, in this array, 
we store the value array dot length which will actually be an index that is out of bounds and well if we are the largest value at the moment the only way we can actually prove that our win our next data element to the right is out of this window for the very last window say we have to place it in a value that is out of bounds so that we can simply consider our current value as the next greatest value we will see that uh, when we code it up don't worry if it sounds a little confusing also the last value will be initialized as the length value itself i know my words may sound a little confusing but when we code it up it will be a lot more clearer and if we happen to find uh, that the size is not zero that means of element is found at the index that is at the top of the stack and now we push our current element to be tested now that we have our next latest element to the right what we can do is have our loop starting from zero and this is this is the part where we start our problem sliding window maximum right now it was just next greater element to the right this will go on till n minus k minus k is being done to compensate for the space that we have for the last window in case you did not understand that so we have this window right so we only have go we have we only need to go till this point we don't need to go any further because this is where the starting point of the last window is so that's the condition for our loop and in this loop we will first as i said we will check if okay first we need a variable say our greatest index in the beginning is found at index 0 it's found at index 0 that is where we will start our testing and i say if a next greatest element on the right data element on the right is found and it is inside our range that is i plus k we are at the ith element plus k for the window size if we are in this range then i update my greatest index to the next greater element on the right that i've just found which is inside our range and if i do that i simply print my value at the greatest index because this is the valid value for this particular window that is maximum but there could be a case where say say if i have my value as 15 here a value is 15 for this the index right here would actually be 8 my index would be 8 here and the value would be infinity because it is the greatest element in this entire array so when we actually shift the window when we shift the window if first we were here for the next iteration we shift the window by one position our greatest index will be left at 8 we don't want that we need to update this value in case the in this particular index le gets left behind we uh, uh, we basically have to check if the and this is one case and of course there could be another case where say for example we have a greatest element that we found in this window right here say 8 and we move by one position a greatest element that we found in this window was actually in the in our original example that is where we had 5 let me just update the values again it was 1 and it was 8 greatest element was found at index 1 but our window starts at 2 our window starts at index number 2 so we need to update this value as well we need to check again starting from this index right we need to update this value to 2 and the, how we'll do that is um, by putting a condition where we check if our greatest index is less than i 
that is the greatest index has actually been left behind the window then we update the greatest index to the value of i and then we repeat this entire process that i've just explained so let's see if this code runs properly or not the answer is accepting let's try to submit this and the answer is correct just revising this very quickly since there are a few conditions and to handle and this can be a little confusing so we have these values with us what we do is that we check every window for the maximum value the way we do that is that we take out the next greater element on the right say five, for 5 we have the value 1 we go to 1, we check for its next greater element on the right, which turns out to be out of this window. So we find out that this is actually the greatest element in this window, since there are no values in this window that are larger than it, which we've just verified. And so we print this value 8. I'm not going to do the complete error, I'm just reiterating some of the important points. Then we move the window. I repeat the process, we move the window again. There could be a case where our greatest element gets left behind. We have to we have to check if that is the case, and if that is the case, we update our greatest element to the current starting point of our current window. So and then and then we'll repeat the entire process of checking the next greater element on the right again. And that's basically what we have to do. Of course, in the case where our value happens to be more than all the elements on its right. For that, we simply write array dot length, or should I say positive infinity? We can even write integer dot max value, and we'll get the correct answer. Because, because for this element, there is no ele greater element on the right, and so, and so this since the and so it is the largest element in its window. And to prove that, well, we have to handle it by putting a condition where the greatest element on its right will always always be out of its window since it is out of the range of the array itself and that was basically that was basically all the important points for this particular problem i hope you understood it well and thank you so much for watching if you found this useful drop a like leave a comment and do subscribe to our channel thank you